You can prepare for a job interview by studying weeks in advance, but still, there is no guarantee that you won't be asked a question you have no idea how to answer. The trickiest and the most important questions are designed to help employers gain a deeper understanding of beyond what's listed on your resume. A potential sales candidate, for example, might be asked to talk through how they would approach short sales cycle differently than a long sales cycle. A candidate interviewing for a managerial role might be asked how they'd handle customer objections or a team conflict. These questions aren't always easy and they often cause most people to stress and freeze up. So, we bought you this video to get a better understanding of how tricky the questions are designed for Google interview. Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting video from Simply Learn. In this session, we will be discussing on tricky Google interview questions. However, before we begin the session, make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to click that bell icon so you can never miss an update from Simply Learn. So without further ado, let's get started with the first question of this session. And we have, why do you choose Google? Answer. When a question is asked in the interview like this, come up with a unique answer like this. Impressive record and impressive history of the company. Some of the best products that are released by Google and used by everyone in the world and helping everyone in several areas. Clearly committed to building a diverse workforce which is good to choose Google. And the second question in the list is, do you think Google should be charging for its productivity apps? The best answer for this question is, if Google charges for its productivity applications like Gmail or many more, no one is going to choose. So, instead of that, making a freemium model with enhanced functionalities can help better for the people and make them choose Google. And the next question in the list is, which number does not belong to this series? 2, 3, 5, 8, 11, 13, 21. The answer for this question is, if you observe the series clearly, it is based on adding the adjacent number in the series. So the number which is not related in the series is 11. Let's have a look at the next question in the series. And we have, what does the significance of dead beef mean? Usually, people respond to this question with an answer like, beef always is dead. Wrong answer. The correct answer is that, Dead beef is a hexadecimal value that was used in debugging back in the mainframe or assembly days as such it was easy to see when marking and finding specific memory in pages of hex dumps. Most computer engineers are aware of this term. The next question we have is, is your IQ more than 130? Avoid this question by answering yes. The question is put to check intellectual humility and yes could be the worst answer to this. Remembering your IQ score sends a wrong message of your insecurity and self-aggrandizement. Let's have a look at the next question in the list. There are months with 30 days and others with 31 days. Then how many months do we have? 28 days. Don't try to give the answer as February as your answer because all months have 28 days and more. Now, let's have a look at the next question in the session. How many times would you need to fold the 1mm piece of paper in half for it to be high enough to reach the moon? Try to give an answer like, folding a 1mm thick piece of paper in half 42 times will make the paper 4,398,46 km height, which is more than the distance from the earth to the moon. And the next question in the session we have is, why do manholes are round in shape? The answer for this question is, it would make it harder to fit with a cover. You'd have to rotate the cover exactly the right way. Therefore, many manhole covers are round so they don't need to be rotated. There are no corners to deal with. Also, a round manhole cover won't fall into the hole because it was rotated in the wrong way. So, it's safer when they are rounded. Now, let's have a look at the next question in the session. Why do you think that the Google search page is so mainly blank? 
the answer for this question is when google was invented the founders did not know much on web designing and development so they left much of their pages empty with only bare bones designing and they left as blank and the next question of the session is how much should you charge to wash all the windows in new york give a definitive answer like 15 dollars per window a specific answer is better instead of a guess next question in the list is explain what is database to a 10 year old kid for these kind of questions, giving an answer like database is a machine that stores all the information that people used to remember and identify. And the next question in the session is, tell something about you which is not included in your resume. For this kind of question, answer the question like, mention something you have achieved in your current job role that's recent and not included in your resume. Or, talk about a volunteering experience that you can relate to the position or stress a strength or skill that's essential to the current position. The next question in the list is, who do you believe as Google's main competitors? Answer this question with answer like, Google has several competitors like Microsoft, Facebook, Netflix and several others depending on the specific space. One of the main difference is Google's ability to integrate its services creating a cross-platform experience. Now, let's have a look at another question in the list. How do you explain programming and programming languages to a 10 year old kid? The answer is, if a question is asked like this, give an answer like programming allows us to teach computers to do specific things. A programming language is like a language that is understandable by computers. So that makes a good impression. The next question is, if the day before yesterday is three days after Friday, what day is today? So the answer for this question is, three days after Friday is Monday. So the day before yesterday is Monday. So the day before yesterday was Tuesday and yesterday was Wednesday. So today is Thursday. The next question in the session is, how 5 minus 2 equals 4? Explain. The answer for the above question is, if you observe the question, it is clearly mentioned that 5 minus 2 is equals to 4. So, when you remove f and e from the word 5, then it, then it becomes i, v, or in Roman, it is 4, represented as 4. The next question we have is, which of the following sets doesn't belong to the series a, b, c, d, a, e, b, g, z, i, a, b, J K L M. The answer for the above question is J K L M doesn't belong to the series. The three remaining sets are a part of series because all of them have A B subset in common. And the next question in the series is what is the biggest threat that Google faces? The answer for the above question is that Facebook is the biggest threat facing Google these days because it has over 1 billion active users every month. The next question in the series is, how many times does a clock hand overlap per day? So the answer for this question is, clock hand overlaps 22 times per day. Now the next question in the series, describe time where you have failed at something. How do you recover? So the answer for this question is, while I was managing a project for one of the biggest clients in my previous company, I was so eager to please them that I told them we would finish the project within three weeks. So I took this experience and used it to become much better at managing the expectations of client during project. And this was all for today's session. I hope now you guys have an idea of how the questions are asked in the Google interview. If you have any questions, would you please let us know in the comment section below and we have our experts ready to answer them as early as possible. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.